Hi there! My name is Sophie, and my boyfriend is Brad. We've been dating for three years now, but the past few months have been... horrible. Brad has changed towards me drastically. I think he doesn't love me anymore. We were in the supermarket one day, surrounded by aisles. It was a quiet evening in the middle of the week, so there weren't many people about. Brad was pushing the cart and calling out things to get. Don't get the chicken. Get the steaks instead. But I don't like steak. Am I supposed to care? If you don't like steak, don't eat it. Then I'll just get the chicken for me and the steak for you. I thought that was the end of the conversation. We got home and Brad immediately sequestered himself away in his little man cave to play video games. I put the shopping away and went to read on the terrace. We didn't see each other until it was time to cook dinner. When are you going to make dinner? What do you mean? If you're hungry now, then you should make dinner. Fine. Fine is not a great word, but the way he said it set me ill at ease. I figured that there was never anything good that could come out of the attitude he had. But I didn't think he'd be so petty. When I went into the kitchen hours later to make my own dinner, I was in for a surprise. The chicken was gone. Brad, where's the chicken? I didn't expect him to have heard me, since he usually has headphones on when he's playing video games. I went into his man cave and found him fixated on his game. Brad, the chicken's gone. Where is it? I threw it out. I was so surprised, I couldn't even be angry. I found the chicken in the trash. He'd taken the time to open the package and pour the remnants of his own meal on top, so it wasn't salvageable. It was cruel, but I wanted to believe it was just a phase. But the situation escalated from there. A week later, at my 30th birthday, he told me he wouldn't be able to make it to the party. He told me he was sick, but I found out that he just wanted to go watch a football game with his friends. Then, I found that he'd spent a substantial sum of money on my card without asking permission first. You're supposed to ask! I don't know why you're being so dramatic. I said I'd pay you back. That's not the point. The point is, you've not respected any of my boundaries. Whatever. As you can imagine, he didn't even apologize. I was upset, but I was yet to tell anyone. These incidents were so far apart that I wasn't even registering them properly. That was until the day I broke my leg. Brad, I'm at the hospital. I broke my leg. I need you to come and pick me up. What? There suddenly aren't any taxis anymore? You're not coming to get me? Fine, I'll come. But don't expect me to bend over backwards just because you got yourself hurt. He never asked if I was okay. He didn't even bother asking how it happened. I had to call a friend over to help around the house because he refused to lift a finger. My friend told my other friends immediately, and on an evening when Brad was out at the gym, they came over for an intervention. Brad is bad for you, Sophie. He clearly doesn't care about you. And I know that's got to be hard to hear, but you need to accept it as the truth. You deserve better. I told them I'd do something about it, but I agonized over how. 
I wasn't sure Brad would be receptive to an honest conversation, but I certainly tried anyway. Fortunately, he gave me the match to strike the fire. I have to go to my parents. Right now? You told me you'd take me to the hospital to get the cast off, and you were supposed to stay here while I went to visit my grandparents. Not everything is about you, Sophie. My mother is sick, okay? I need to go help. I'll be gone for a week. He stormed out and took our car. His parents live in a different state, so it would have been easier for him to get a flight. But if his mom was sick, then I didn't want to ask him to leave the car. I did, however, call his mom to give her my well wishes. Hi, Brad told me you were sick. I wanted to see if there was anything I could do. Maybe I'll go to that little cafe you took us to, to send over some soup. Oh, I think you've misunderstood, dear. I'm fit as a fiddle. And Brad isn't coming here. He's going sailing with his friend Cadence. She's a lovely girl, but it's a shame you two broke up. I apologize for the mistake, but I knew it wasn't. Brad lied to me. And now, he was cheating on me. So it was time to seek revenge. And when I turned around in the kitchen, I saw exactly how I was going to do that. He'd left his wallet. The first thing I did was take a cab to the hospital to get the cast removed. Then, I went shopping. I bought five new outfits, shoes, and accessories included, and took myself to a nice restaurant for lunch. Then, I decided to put the outfits to good use. Brad was going away for seven days to play golf? Well, I was going away, too. I took myself to Spain and lounged by a pool, reading books that he provided, in a hotel that he paid for, and drank cocktails on his dime. I almost felt guilty, but then he called me. Babe, I left my wallet at home. Why didn't you remind me to take it? You have to go over to my parents and drop it off. You want me to take a five-hour flight to drop off something you forgot to take? Just do it. I need it tonight. He hung up, and I shrugged and booked myself in for a Thai massage. I needed someone to knead the stress out of me. When the week was over, and Brad's text grew steadily more angry when I refused to reply to him, I knew I had to face the music. I got home before he did, but I was waiting for him on the sofa. Babe, what the hell? Where were you? I was waiting for you. I was otherwise occupied. How's your mother? She's sick. I told you that. Not like you care. That was rich coming from him but I chose not to say anything. I knew that there was nothing I could do about our relationship. He expected more than he deserved and never gave me anything. It was time I left, and I could only hope that he understood the gravity of his attitude. Maybe the next girl will get a better version of him. I left that night. He was playing video games, and so engrossed in it that he didn't notice when I lugged a suitcase out of the front door and took my car to my best friend's house. Brad realized I wasn't home and began calling and texting. Then, I told him to check the note I left on the table in the living room. In the note... I had told Brad that it is over, and I knew he was cheating on me, and I had used his card to do a little shopping. I knew Brad would be furious, but I was long gone. Never waste time on someone who doesn't care about you. No matter who you are, you deserve better. 
Thanks for watching! Like, share, and subscribe!